So this is an addition to my previous video on how to import video and transcript files from Zoom into Invivo 12, this time for Mac users. I'm not a Mac user myself, but I have a number of students who are, and we've been exploring uh, the differences between uh, the processes needed to get your transcript files in particular from a Zoom into Invivo if you are a Mac user. The thing to be aware of is that the way uh, Invivo um, understands timestamps differs depending on which operating system you are using. So uh, if you're using Invivo 12 for Windows, uh, there, Invivo, Invivo uses a colon mark to make a distinction between the hours, minutes and seconds um, within a timestamp and then uh, to make a distinction between seconds and milliseconds uh, it uses a period mark. Uh, then to distinguish between start times and finish times, uh, Vivo 12 uses a hyphen mark. Uh, a tab is then used to make a distinction between uh, the timestamp and the transcript text. However, if you're using Invivo 12 for Macs, uh, the colon's used in the same way to make a distinction between hours, minutes, and seconds, but a comma is used uh, to make a distinction between seconds and milliseconds. I'm not even too sure whether or not Invivo 12 for Mac allows um, more than one decimal place for milliseconds, um, but in this case, four means 400 milliseconds or four tenths of a second. And the alternative notation to do exactly the same thing is to use a hyphen and then I think a hashtag at the end to indicate um, uh, seconds and milliseconds. Um, I haven't ex explored much further than that but the important thing here is the hyphen here instead of being used to indicate a difference between start times and finish times can be used to actually indicate milliseconds. Uh, note that there is no option for indicating an end time for Invivo 12 for Mac. And uh, when you are making a distinction between the timestamp and the text, uh, instead of a tab, you use a space. So all this means that different work needs to go on in order to prepare your transcript for import into uh, Invivo 12 if you are using Invivo 12 for Max. So here's my example um, transcript yet again. Um, and once again, I'll delete these first couple of lines. I'm going to go through the same process I used in the other video to uh, delete the other unnecessary elements of this transcript. So I'm going to convert this into a table with four columns and paragraph marks to separate the columns. I'm going to delete the columns that I don't need. The tricky thing here now is that I actually, what I want to delete here is everything that's in this part of each of these, um, these, uh, uh, this first column of cells, um, so that I just include the start time. Uh, as noted, Mac uh, users can't enter an end time in their timestamp for um, uh, into in Vivo 12, uh, and um, this this period mark actually creates a bit of a problem. We're much better off actually um, just uh, deleting it altogether. And not worrying too much about the about the um, the milliseconds. It's it's a bit too much more detail than actually is necessary for useful qualitative research anyway. Um, in order to edit this, what I suggest you do is that you uh, select the second column here, and instead of deleting, I'm going to um, do Control X to cut, and you can do this from the home page too here with this cut sim symbol here. Um, and then I'm going to create a, a completely new Word document. And I'm just going to paste that, that uh, text uh, into the document there. I'm just going to come back to here and I'm going to I am going to uh, convert this back into uh, into uh, text using uh, tabs as the separator uh, and I'm going to convert it back into a table again. This time I'm going to use a different mark, a, a, a period mark, to indicate the separation here. So I'm going to use the period mark to indicate a separation, and we're going to have one, two, three columns. So I've got three up there. Uh, and now I'm just going to delete these other two columns. 
uh, and we've just got a list of columns uh, with the um, the start time down to seconds, ignoring milliseconds for each line of transcript. I'll go back to here where I stored my text file the, from the from the content for these this transcript, and I'm just going to post this back in place here, um, just by just by highlighting the just highlighting the text next to the first row and um, and doing contr control V or you can click up here um, the paste function to put it back in again. So now last step we have to convert this back into um, a straight text uh, a straight text file. So I'm going to uh, go to design um, convert to text. But remember that the notation for separation between um, the, the timestamp and the uh, transcript content needs to be a space. So what we need to put in here is convert to text. I'm going to put another mark in here, and I just need to put in a single space. So now that's all set up, I can save that as a uh, text file plain text file, I'll call it edited uh, for Mac, um, and, uh, and that file now is, um, is uh, edited appropriately for importing into uh, Invivo 12 for Mac, and you can follow the rest of the previous video, video to do that.